This week on Canada in the Rough, Paul Beasley is in Manitoba hunting waterfowl. He'll be hunting with dirty lake outfitters, and he has an amazing time hunting geese and ducks in this prairie pothole paradise as the skies are filled. This week on Canada in the Rough. You know, waterfowl hunting involves some early mornings sometimes, and this is one of those, but it is it ever exciting and so worth it. We're out here in a beautiful part of Canada. This is the Minnedosa area in Manitoba. Waterfowl meccas, big flyways, big pr flat prairies, agricultural fields everywhere. Today, we're actually focused on a pea field. We're expecting a nice mixed bag of some dark geese, some ducks. If all goes well, hopefully we'll have a limit of both by, uh, by the end of the morning. Let's get hunting. Come right in front. Take them. Good job, guys. Well done. They worked like to perfection. They did. They yeah. almost touched a little too quick. Almost. <laughs> so worried about the decoys, to be honest. Here's the rest. Then we just lifted the whole flock. Look at that. The marsh is alive. Hey guys, we got a group of ducks coming straight at us here. Holy. Take them. Good, nice Good shooting, nice boys. Good job. That was fun. That was that fun. That was perfect. Those ones worked exactly what your spread was designed to do. Straight downwind, checked in downwind, and straight up the pipe. You bet. Beautiful, guys. Good job. This is amazing, man. Thanks for bringing me along. I appreciate awesome. it. <laughs> There's a pair right in front. Take them. Woo! Two. Good job, boys. Good, Good job, shooting. boys. That is a duck limit, guys. Well done. Good job. After a great first morning waterfowl hunting in Manitoba, Paul, Jason, and the Dirty Lake Outfitters crew headed back out hunting in the evening for some geese. Changing winds made the hunt difficult, but they still had a great hunt and had some good fun while doing it. Take them. <laughs> Take them. Good job. <laughs> Take it. 
Take a... Good shooting, guys. Good job, guys. It must have been me. <laughs> On the left. Four coming in hard. Take him. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. I love it when the feathers still come fluffing down into the air. Yeah, that's, that's great. awesome. Ready? Take him. Good shooting, guys. Good job. Well done. <laughs> yes. It's just insane. Okay, guys, we got some birds coming from behind us on the left. Left side. Right here? Yep. Take them. Good shooting, guys. Good shooting. Good job, guys. <laughs> Try these geese. They're coming right at us. Oh, they are coming in perfect. Okay, guys, get ready. Here they come. Go, take them. Shoot. One more up. Woo! Good shot, Paul. That was a nice one. Wow, eh? Goes from a duck hunt to a goose hunt <laughs> like that. Yeah, in a matter of seconds. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Mornings like this make me grateful to be a hunter. This is why you travel. I mean, there are so many great adventures to be had, and Manitoba is definitely one of those places. Ready? Take him, Josh. Take him. Good job, Josh. Thank you. Swing around up front. Yeah. Take him. Good shooting, guys. Take him. Good shooting, guys. <laughs> Take the single? Sure. Take him. Good shot. Two on the deck? Yeah, two very in front of us. Take him. Take him. There we go. Good Simultaneous shooting. shooting. <laughs> Teamwork. Yes, that's the way we like it. Take him. Take him. Yep. Atta boy. Where's the birds coming? Bottom two, guys. Bottom yeah. two. Good ah, shooting, guys. Boy. Good shooting. Well done. Woo Limit of Limit. Yes. Limit job, of ducks Paul. and geese. Good job, Josh. Beautiful. What a sh what a day. And this is early season. Like we're talking, these are these are essentially locals, right? These are yeah. These are local geese. Yeah. And local ducks. So really, the best hasn't even is is still you know a yeah. week or more away. We're just going to be seeing the start of the migration here in the next week or two. Unbelievable. What a what a place you've got here. It's just what a treat. Yeah, we're we're pretty spoiled to live and fortunate to live in this part of the yeah. country. Oh, well, I can see why you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll go get them and All pack right. up. Let's go pick those birds up. After the great morning hunt on day two, Paul, Jason, and the Dirty Lake Outfitters crew headed back to town to grab a bite to eat. They were also joined by the other two owners of the outfit, Sam and John. The group had an amazing traditional Ukrainian feast before getting busy cleaning all the waterfowl. When it comes to butchering birds, a sharp knife is key. When traveling, we like to pack a small but durable knife that can make quick, clean work of our wild game. 
After all the meat was taken from the birds, Paul decided to explore the town of Minnedosa, Manitoba, since they had limited out and couldn't hunt until tomorrow. It turns out Minnedosa is a bit of a hidden gem. From scenic walkways along the lake, a small historic village, a large lookout tower overlooking the whole town, and even a park full of bison. Hey guys, we got a pretty good group coming from the left here. Oh man. Oh yeah, we'll let them circle once. Let them go and circle. Take them. Good shooting, guys. Good job, guys. Good shooting. That was good. Nice start to the morning. Another flock coming in. Left side. Here they come. Here they come. They're gonna work. They're gonna work. Take them. Good shooting, guys. Holy smokes. Here comes ducks. Ducks right on the deck here, Sean. I am loving this right now. Oh. Take them. Woo! Man, we are crushing them. Loving that. The only problem is our limit's gonna be done way too early. <laughs> you got that right. Wow. Good girl, heel. Heel. Got a girl. Heel. Sit. Sit. Back. Love it. Nothing like a good working dog. These things love it. She is like just giddy with excitement. She can't stop whimpering. You can tell she's so excited about it. People think that hunting dogs are sometimes, you know, mistreated or something. There's no dog better treated in the world than these hunting dogs. They're living life doing the things they love. Birds up behind us coming in. Coming in. Here they come. Okay. Woo! This is a blast, literally. <laughs> Look at these ducks. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Here they come, here they come. Ready, ready, take them. Yeah, <laughs> boys. Way to that is up, an guys. early duck limit. Early job, John. Limit. Good job, boys. Good job, that guys. That almost went too fast. <laughs> it did. That was a quick morning hunt. That is amazing, honestly. Like those things were just sucking in this spread. It just goes to show you, some days everything goes works against you, it feels like. This was one of those days. It just worked to perfection. Yep. We had the right wind, the sun at our back. Yep. And, and yeah, look at this. Perfect yeah. conditions. Oh my goodness. They still want to come in. That's a flock of wood ducks right there. That's a full flock. A lot of drakes in there too. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a place. Yeah. What no. a place. With one evening left in Paul's hunt in Minnedosa, Manitoba with Dirty Lake Outfitters, the crew hit the field to go after some geese. Before they even got fully settled into the blind, the geese started moving. Oh, there's some coming on the right here. Oh yeah, I see them. <laughs> Take him. Nice shot. <laughs> there we go. Nice way to start the afternoon. Jeez Louise. Sorry, boys. That was a good oh. one. I would have left you something to take care of, but. <laughs> hey. Uh, that's awesome. You got a job to do, get it done. Two for one isn't so bad. No. 
just try to save ammo. <laughs> Here you go, guys. They're ready to come from behind us. Nice. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're going to swing in front. They're lined up perfect. Take them! All right, boys, good those shooting, guys. things good came shooting. down from way up there. Yes, it did. Love that. That, that worked good, good, that group. Wow. Awesome. Bottom four. <laughs> Two bottom four. Take those Take four. Them. Good shooting, guys. Good shooting. Oh, there's some coming in. Well, they're already lined right up. Yeah. Oh, baby. Take them. Good shooting, you there guys. Go. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. They're all a good <laughs> you can job, tell boys. we're desperate. Are we ever? <laughs> good that was work. Some great shooting, uh, guys. Those things are dropping 60, 80 yard, 60 yards out there. Good job, Josh. Woo! Getting late, Barry. I say we just take these and pass. Yep, that sounds good. One each, fellas. Ready? Kick up. There we go. That's three. our limit, boys. <laughs> wow. Good job, guys. We awesome. need three. Wow. <laughs> Woo! What a hunt! I say, <laughs> what a great hunt. I got to tell you, that was amazing. Absolutely Truly amazing. amazing. Well done. Good shooting, Josh. Thanks. You must have been better than being at school today. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm glad you could make it out. That was that was incredible. That was just so many birds. Like look at these skies. Birds everywhere. It was a it was a blast. Let's go get those birds. Yes. Sounds good. As we travel this country looking for exciting hunting adventures to show you, we are sometimes blessed to uncover some gems, and the city of Minnedosa, Manitoba is just one of those. We came here looking for exciting waterfowl action, and we found it, but what we didn't expect to find such a great, warm, and welcoming city, a city with so much to do, nestled in almost the middle of nowhere. It's the Prairie Pothole region. We drove a few hours across nothing but fields to come to this, and all of a sudden you get into it, and it's just this beautiful little town bustling with life and all kinds of things to do. You know, it's a beautiful spot, and if you ever have the chance to come to Minnedosa, Manitoba and hunt with Dirty Lake Outfitters, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Canada Rock. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.